there. Little by little, piece by piece, our fall garden will eventually be planted. I swear it. A little late, but not too late. All right, two wheelbarrows worth of compost in my little mounded bed. And now it's time to go in and get the kids some lunch. So hopefully I'll be able to come back out and enjoy this nice, cool fall air, get some stuff done. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but all these goats look kind of fat. I'm wondering if my buckling got to them. Parsley looks big. Ruby, who's not supposed to be bred, looks big. Tabitha looks big. Rosemary looks gigantic, but she always looks gigantic. Kitty doesn't look big, but she's not supposed to be bred, so neither is Hearts. So, yeah, I don't know what to think. So the boys and Ryan got my broccoli planted. Ryan got me more compost. And we are hopefully gonna get the rest of the plants in the ground very soon. We're just dealing with a lot that has to be done on the homestead. In the background there, we have a major project that we're working on. We are doing our first two hogs for the first time. So we're at the scalding and scraping process. It's going pretty good. We had to shift our plan a little bit, but we're improvising and making it work with what we have. So we're getting there. We're just boiling some more water now to raise the temperature back up again and almost to the point where we're about at the halfway mark on the first one and the second one will be going in next. We feel so blessed to have this food on our homestead that we grew ourselves from delivery all the way to the end. And we're gonna share this with our friends and family. We're having a bonfire and a pig roast and a potluck next weekend with one of these pigs. We're gonna do it whole and we're really gonna enjoy it. And the other one, I'm gonna break down into different things for our freezer. And I feel a lot of, leading into today, I had some fear, I had some anxiety, I had some, you know, uncomfortable feelings. It's never easy to take a life, especially one that you have been such a huge part of its whole life. But I also felt joy and pride, and it's the step that we really needed to take at this point in our journey. Yesterday was a really big day in our homesteading journey. The first time that we intentionally took the life of a four-legged animal for food. And it was hard. A lot of people don't talk about that, but we have wanted to do this for a long time and we have delayed and delayed and delayed until we finally had the courage to do it. And I'm glad that we finally took that step. I feel braver for the next time that we have to do it. And I feel more confident in what we're feeding our family. And feeding our family better quality food is really important to me. So I feel really good about this. And it was a lot of hard work and we worked into the night with flashlights and everything. But we got it done. So this week I'll be working on breaking down one of the hogs and the other one will be 
getting brined on Thursday and will be becoming a whole hog roast on Saturday. And I'm so excited to share this bounty with our friends and family. While there's life and death on the farm and the homestead, the fall garden dies, the cucumbers are dying, the summer squash is dying just behind the snake gourd beans are thriving. So there's always life and death. We have peppers that are thriving. We have snake gourd that is thriving. We have eggplant that is thriving. And we're getting all of our fall starts put in the ground. And I'm starting to see a pattern that's emerging from coming back into this life with more health under my belt so that I can work through things and actually get things done. I may not get things done as fast as others, but I'm getting there at my own pace. And part of that pace is I've slowed down on video production, in case you haven't noticed. But it's because I've been so busy with the fall harvest and everything that we have going on here. So I'm grateful for the slowdown too.